Hello, hello. Well, today I want to talk about this ESC. I picked this up from uh, Hobby King a couple months ago now, and it is the X Car 120 amp censored or sensorless speed control. Now, this is an exact copy of a Hobbywing V2.1. XE run or Z run or however you pronounce it. So pretty awesome that it's only $32. The Hollywing ones, the exact same as this. Okay, you can see it's kind of dirty. I actually went through and waterproofed it with Corrosion X. Right, we got the sensor port right there. I'm running this in a two wheel drive, uncensored right now. But this thing is a powerful little ESC. I've ran it. In a couple other trucks, actually, my Slash, when it was converted to my LCG race rig, and my Hyper 10 is where this actually started, uh, paired up to a 10-shock SC411. Now, this thing has all kinds of firmware updates, so you can run it. What I'm going to show you here today, this is a Hobbywing X car. I'll, I'll, the links and all that are, will be in the description. Here is my Hobbywing program box. I can use this to program my Hobby King speed control because it is a hobby wing so I plugged it in I opened up I didn't even open the app that they give you or that they tell you to use on the hobby king website I went right to hobby wing actually I have obviously hobby wing speed control right there in my WPSC8 so I just used this boom and that uh, worked no problem I updated it through the program box to uh, version 3 firmware and there's probably six or seven different ones zero timing modified timing stock timing you know you can take it all the way up to I don't even remember how many degrees of boost timing there is but it's quite a bit and it's pretty awesome because you can still use like even with all those crazy functions you can still use the program box to program all that the boost stuff yada 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 so it works really well uh, the only thing that I don't really like about it is the fact it's kind of, it's old school in the way that you actually have to plug in the plug from the receiver. That's the only three plug or three wire plug that there is. There's no port minus the fan port there, but it's only a two wire, so you can't use that uh, to program it. So it doesn't really matter. It just means you got to open up the receiver box to program it. Uh, but it does work pretty slick, and like I said, this thing is powerful. Like I was really surprised. I got it for thirty-two dollars or something shipped, and wow, for this powerful of an ESC for that kind of a price, you cannot go wrong, guys. Uh, like I said, I bought this for a censored motor uh, for my ten shock. This guy right there. SC411 and it runs it great but as you can see I got a different speed control in there now which I prefer uh, simply because of the Bluetooth programming and stuff like that so but anyway still this is my backup and it works great I've used it for probably at least 15 packs through it now and it's flawless nothing wrong with it the only beef I kind of had is the case but it was my own darn fault I didn't have a body on the truck and I flipped over and I smashed it hit right on the side of the case and it actually did break it uh, like glued it all back together and whatnot but still a bit of a pain in the butt and I did waterproof it I opened it all up and I used corrosion X this wonderful stuff here uh, works really really well so yeah hopefully I won't have to open it up again but I just thought I'd give you my two cents on this thing man if you're looking for a, a new speed control uh, for even uncensored, you know, I'm running this thing here as an attack on uh, 4,000 kV. Let me see if I can get you the yeah, 3660. So 60 mil, 36 mil wide, 60 long, and yeah, this is a two pole motor, but this thing runs it well, very well. And like I said, I run the four, four pole 10 shocks, and I even ran the uh, that low C 2800 kV motor off this, and they, it runs them all flawlessly. So if you're looking for a cheap little ESC that can definitely perform, basically it is a Hobbywing XE Run 2.1. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in and I'll just show you how to program it. Another thing I should mention here is you see in here this thing has an actual it's a ferrite ring which is actually used to uh, eliminate the RF or radio frequency noise. When you get it, it's only wrapped around, I think, five or six times. I got it around there, like, way more than that, I think, ten times or something like that. So just pull the, use a razor blade 
to lift the tabs up very carefully and you can pull the wires out. Um, and then I pull it out and you can move it around where you want. You're supposed to have it as close to the source of the noise as possible, which in this case is the ESC. However, in this two-wheel drive, because they're so close together with my receiver and my ESC, I put it right beside the receiver uh, because it was creating some feedback for me and I was losing range. So you can always do that. Uh, so this cleared it up, but I ended up having to wrap it a bunch more times. Get it through as many times as you can. So, we'll plug it in. Okay, and me, I just attached the uh, button up here, but it is, um, it does have the set button. So you can program it and do change all the settings without a program box right from this thing. But you cannot update the firmware. So it's kind of important in that sense. Uh, a lot of people have these hobby link boxes. I'm not sure of which other ones could work. Um, I'll leave that for you to decide. But the Hobbywing one works amazing. So fire it up. It's going to boot this up. Shows me the firmware of the program box. And there is the software version. Digger 2S. And boom. So basically you can go through. Ooh, see there right there. I need to turn that on. about right for a rear wheel drive don't really need timing on this So pretty straightforward and like I said there are a ton of different firmware options like I it does have all the turbo and boost settings and probably 10 different firmware versions that I downloaded right from Hobbywing through the Hobbywing program suite so it's super duper easy and like I said there's a whole bunch you have the blinky mode zero timing um, there's just a ton stock modified and it just goes on and on. So, very versatile speed control for the price. I don't really think you can go wrong. Just having this as a backup is definitely worth it, in my opinion, because it is, like I said, a very powerful ESC. And it's small. It's, it can fit in pretty much anything, right? That's what I loved about it. It's like, wow, it's, it's just amazing how small it is for how much power it actually does put out. So, I thank, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, check the description for all the links. And I uh, hope to see you again.